I go to talk and my mouth is just like... Watery. Weird. One of the most handy features that have been celebrated by most Netflix users is the se the setup of multiple users per account so that you could share it with different family members so that me and my wife can track different shows that we are watching separate from each other so that some people can share their Netflix accounts with other people. Those kinds of things. And Plex actually has this built in. So for our monthly sponsored Plex tutorial, I'm going to be showing you quickly how to set up multiple users in your Plex server or to your Plex account that you can share actually multiple servers with and how to set up a password for the master account and yada yada. Let's jump in. So here I am logged into my main Plex server which is on my Quicksilver network attached storage server uh, just through the web client and by default when you log in you're probably used to just logging in with your account and being presented with this but this means that everybody who watches logged in this way can affects watch status and progress across the entire system. So to set up some users, you go over here to your little account icon in the top right hand corner and there's actually a users button here. Now by default you just have you. You are the crowned <laughs> administrator of this account, but you can enable a guest account so that those who just happened to drop by could watch some shows. I didn't know this was a thing prior to starting this tutorial, I just knew about the users. I'm actually going to enable that. You are not currently a part of a home. That makes sense, because no one else is in my home yet, so we're going to disable guest, because it doesn't like that. But first, we're going to set up some users, because this is just an account for me. You can actually add other Plex account holders to your server to share servers with them. You can actually share Plex servers between people. Just keep in mind, if someone's trying to stream a movie from your home internet connection, that might be a bad experience for both of you, and if you have data caps, you don't want other people using yours. However, for the purposes of this tutorial, I'm going to set up some managed users for people who don't need to mess with Plex accounts or anything like that, that simply just want to log in or, you know, turn on smart TV or whatever and watch some shows. So I'm going to create a managed user. I call this my fiance or my wife. We just recently got married. My wife's name. Now you can choose what servers are available to them. Now Plex, Plex Cloud is going away. If you were unaware, that's really sad. I'll probably have a news video coming soon with that. So I'm actually going to uncheck that. Oh, this is showing which servers are available. So you can choose. I'm unchecking all of the Plex Cloud libraries. My Quicksilver, which is my main Plex server at the moment. All libraries are available. You can actually customize whether they just have access to your movies or your TV shows, or for example, if you have some <laughs> some stuff in your other videos category that you don't want anyone seeing, you can do that. So if you have some naughty videos or you keep your adult video library in your Plex server for some reason, that might be a way to go, but you might want to uncheck that so no one else can see it. And then Cloud Sync stuff, which is just kind of the backup thing, I'm not going to share that either. So she only has access to my main library, and I will click Add. Now we have two users that can access my server. So now you have a profile here. It shows what libraries you are sharing with that user. And you can actually lock the uh, account behind a PIN number if desired, uh, which I could set up. But for your other users, you might just want them to be able to just log in without an account. As For example, if you're setting up for your parents or elderly people or, again, people who just really don't want to have to mess with it, this is the way to go. Just leave it unlocked so that they can let um, log in. Now that we are part a part of a home, so that there are multiple users, you can now enable the guest account. Now, assuming you are on the latest version of your Plex Media server, which I was not at the time of initial recording here, you can now enable a guest account, which is what I am doing right here. Click Enable Guest. It will take a minute to kick in. You might have to refresh the page. It's it's being kind of finicky about whether or not it wants to show it. So after you. Tell it to enable guest. You will see the guest account was actually, it was there. We log in as guest. I have access to my Quicksilver ser server. If we switch users, it will actually automatically, uh, and it will automatically share your, whatever you shared with other users with the guest account, which is pretty cool. The issue I was running into before was it was not sharing anything at all with the guest account and giving me errors. I believe it was because my account wasn't, or my server wasn't updated. But there you go. You now have a guest account with libraries shared that anyone can use. Just keep in mind it will continuously track 
what has been watched by the guest. And then if for whatever reason you are added to someone else's home and you wish to leave it, I get sent a bunch of weird random invites to other people's servers for some reason. You can click leave home right here. I'm not going to click it because this is my only home for my server. That would be bad, but <laughs> there you go. Now, I do strongly recommend if this is a household with kids or multiple people that you do make sure you do have a pin on your master account here because you're the one who's managing the administrative control. You don't want someone else logging in or whatever and yada yada. So there's the lock button. You can enter your pin and then you can change it or remove it or what have you. I have mine enabled. Not that I would be opposed to my wife logging in, just that is the option. And now, whenever you load the Plex Media Player, so I will exit out of this and load the normal Plex Media Player app. Now when you open the app, you will have multiple users to select to log in. So if my wife wants to watch shows and track them on hers, she chooses her user. She only has access to this server. Everything is marked as unwatched from the get-go. And then she can browse and start watching stuff. Or you can go over here and switch user at the top right-hand corner. I can log in as me, type in my PIN number, and then I still have full access to administrative controls and my own watch history and things like that. Again, fairly simple and fairly straightforward, but I have received comments, questions, yada yada about how to set that up. And I do believe it is a, a very, very handy feature that you will want to get set up on your Plex Media server. So that's the sponsored tutorial for today, for this month. Like I said, I may have in a week or two a news video regarding there's actually been some pretty unfortunate changes to how some of the Plex services are working, and I do want to talk about that soon if you haven't seen it already. So if you want to check out Plex for yourself, I do have affiliate links in the video description below. As always, this is a sponsored video. Go check them out. You can sign up for Plex for free, get yourself a Plex Pass, or gift a Plex Pass to someone else, perhaps a user that you wish to share your library with. I'm Vox here to make tech easier and more fun, and I will see you in the next episode.